That's the face you make when you have no idea what you got into. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kaisha Williams. I am bringing you a tutorial on this uh, Jershan. Jershan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jershan Poly Gel Kit. And I am walking you through what I received. So what I just picked up and put back down was my little rhinestone picker upper. As you see, there's base coat, top coat, rhinestone, slip solution, and then there are six different poly gels, which really I love. Those are the dual forms. I like those as well. They did fit my nails uh, pretty good. And my, some of my toenails too. I didn't know but I didn't show that. There are the directions here. It's really simple. Um, all of the colors and they have really nice colors. I've heard some good things about this kit. So that's what kind of enticed me to go ahead and order that. Um, as you see, there are the little happy or card there. Thank you card. There is a spatula and a um, little, I don't know what you call the other end of that. It's like a makeup brush, but it's for the dual forms or, you know, what we're doing today in the tutorial. <laughs> the little brush is at the end, of the opposite side of that. Uh, as you can see, my nails are really long and pretty healthy. Those are my daughter's feet in the background. She's my extra camera woman helping me out as the, the newbie YouTuber here. Uh, but anyway, my nails are super healthy and strong usually, but they have been breaking off due to a little bit of stress. So I figure why not treat myself to some really nice looking nails. Um, it also came with this really good, really good uh, filer here. It has two sides. I believe it was like 80, 100, uh, 80 on one side, 100 on the other side. The, harder grid which is really good to shape my nails with so keep on watching and i'll try to explain more but i don't know what i'm doing so use this tutorial at your own discretion okay because yeah there's some better ones on youtube <laughs> So I really love these tubes because apparently they are full size. Um, my daughter, I actually ordered some poly gel off of Wish for herself because she's doing her little nail thing now. And she has like acrylic and a bunch of other stuff. But her poly gels are half of the size of these tubes. So these are full size tubes and I really, really appreciate that. the pinks okay they are all beautiful but i chose the fourth one you're gonna see me cut my nails here um if you get high anxiety don't watch it because i did a terrible job <laughs> like i said y'all i do not do this stuff this is my very first time this is like all true to me i almost did not upload this because it i just knew it was, was not going to be very pretty but i decided if i did it a second time it would not be organically the first try which is what i'm going for here today um, on this video as you can see i will be uh, thinking i'm in the camera's view 
when I'm actually not. So, <laughs> bear with me, but this video is still worth watching, okay? So, I cut off all my fingernails, tossed them in the little box behind, and now I'm just making sure that all of the none of my cuticles are um, on top of my nail and just getting rid of some oil just I'm not shaving down a ton on top I'm just you know gritting it just a very little this little handy dandy uh, nail filer case I actually got when I was in Vegas last year and I was pretty much looking for something to do I had no idea what I was doing it just looked pretty fancy so I decided to use it um, so there I am trying to figure it out didn't figure it out put it back down all right so I'm going to apply the base coat to all of my nails and yeah that's pretty much self-explanatory right Also, guys, don't mind the Amazon package on the ground <laughs> with uh, some other papers that came out of it. Because, you know, we get those packages, we get excited, we just toss them anywhere. I... So, yeah, um, I am now sizing my nails with the dual forms. I got my slip solution and I was looking for something to put it in, but I couldn't find it. So, I'm back now. So <laughs> I end up getting the top off of some nail polish remover and just putting some slip solution inside of that top. And you will see me doing that here. I also didn't show you guys, but once I finished applying my base coat, I did go ahead and cure my nails in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. Now, when I got this kit, I thought maybe it had been used already because the uh, filer had some uh, scratches on it, but it was all brand new and it looks very beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of poly gel to the little nail template. I was I, I I forgot what it's called like three times already. I I don't know why I keep forgetting, but uh, dual form. That's it. <laughs> and I'm taking some slip solution. I dip my brush in it, and then I realized that I didn't have enough slip solution on the brush. It's still sticking, and it I, I, it's a brand new brush, so I need to add some more. I do that and I try to do what I saw in other tutorials on YouTube, which is just try to make it pretty even all around. A little bit of poly gel go a long way, guys, a long way. So I applied the poly gel to my nails and I went underneath with my brush and kind of just smoothed the bottom of it so that it's pretty all, much all even. I let it cure for uh, two minutes and I took it off. In between, baby needed a feeding, so I got one nail in and nursed her. All right, I'm back. So round two, here I go, applying poly gel to the dual form slip solution. And this time's a little better. I definitely didn't have to apply so much. Um, I knew that I can apply a, a little bit less and still get it spread. I wanted them to be not crazy long. I don't like really long nails, but I didn't want a certain shape I was going for and hoping that it would work, knowing that I'm a beginner. But then again, we will see. So I ended up doing the rest of them off of camera and uh, yeah, 
they looked pretty damn horrible <laughs> they looked pretty damn horrible you can see the light spots in my nails for where they are really thin and i didn't apply enough poly gel down there uh the my other hand it also looks pretty bad the tips but i have to shape them i know don't judge me y'all don't come for me i've never done this is not my profession i told y'all at the beginning of the video that it ain't you know i'm just trying something new <laughs> so i shaped them and they didn't look half bad i shaped them i felt like okay not not good but not bad i'm getting it you know and then i decided to go ahead and apply my top coat after and uh some rhinestones which you'll see right now okay there it goes <laughs> they look decent right they actually look pretty good i was pretty damn proud of myself listen trust the process because my stuff is looking terrible and now i think i'm addicted <laughs> all right so thank you all for watching my tragic turned amazing tutorial like and subscribe this channel and comment below what you would like to see from me in the future peace